Hi there, I'm back and today I'm going to do a quick review on something I've been looking for for like a year and a half, ever since the day I bought this espresso maker from eBay. I absolutely love it. It's a tank. It works great. It's an older, much older model. So this thing is all stainless steel. Uh, many of the components on the inside, including the boiler, are stainless steel. And when it's full of water, it's very heavy and difficult to move. So um, with that being said, I needed a, a, a new method to pull it out from under the cabinets and closer to the edge of the counter so I could see what I was doing when I make my uh, lattes and cappuccinos in the morning. And I always do that. I never just drink straight coffee. So I need some, some way of using my steam wand efficiently where I can actually see what I'm doing instead of reaching my arm all the way back. I am short in stature, so this has been an issue. Uh, up to this point, I've been using either a kitchen towel or a placemat um, underneath my espresso maker and just using that, grabbing it and giving it a yank to pull it out. But a lot of times, not only does it stretch out the fabric of, of whatever I'm using under there, but it will slosh and spill water if the tank is really full. Um, it also gets messy with ground coffee or, sp or spilled or dripped wet coffee. And it's kind of um, cumbersome to constantly have to take that off and change it out and you know how long do you let it go before you can't stand it anymore and <laughs> take it off to, to to throw it in the laundry and put something else under that so it just really wasn't very efficient way of doing it um, I did see one of these uh, sliding plastic shelf uh, appliance shelves at Bed Bath & Beyond a few months ago uh, however theirs was it was $15 and they had one a box that had been opened I don't know if it was a return or somebody just had to know what it looked like and rip the thing open um, they seal these boxes of these things with like industrial tape so you can't get into them in the store but um, so I took a look at that one and it was just really flimsy thin plastic and the the roller system uh, and the axles were all thin plastic. And for 15 bucks, I thought, well, maybe I'll just wait and see if I can find another solution to this issue. And as it turned out, when I looked up that particular product online and looked at reviews, a lot of the complaints, the people that didn't like it, um, very, very early on, between one and six months of, of using it, um, the little axles would break and then the wheels were useless and it no longer would slide back and forth. So I'm guessing this may have the same issue down the road. We will see. Um, but I found this at Wally World yesterday. I happened to be there picking up a couple other things and I saw this. This was less than $4. This was uh, $3.97, I believe. And it's one of the As Seen on TV products. Normally, I don't buy any of these <laughs> products from As Seen on TV. Um, I bought a hamburger press that stuffs thing that, where you can make stuffed hamburgers with it, and that was an absolute disaster. Um, thankfully, I got it like on clearance for like five bucks, so I didn't lose a lot of money, but it was still kind of embarrassing that I, I let myself succumb to it, and it, it turned out to be a, a bad experience. But anyway, getting back to the Handy Caddy, um, I, so I opened this up. I bought this yesterday like I said, and I opened it up last night to, to put it together. It turns out it's already assembled, and this is what it looks like. It's two pieces of plastic, one sliding on top of the other, obviously. Uh, it When you pull it out, it's wrapped in a nice bubble wrap sleeve that's, that's sealed up. So it's in really good condition. It's not scratched and marred up like some of the cheap plastic uh, products can be. And then you get uh, a sheet of instructions. One side's in English, and the other side's in Spanish. And it just basically gives you a rundown of how to get it set up and to make sure that it, uh, when it's fully assembled, it uh, comes no far, it does not come past the edge of the counter, I should say. You don't want it to actually overshoot the edge of your counter because if you have something heavy on there, it could just topple and that'll be the end of your appliance and, and, uh, and probably put a, a good dent or hole in the floor with something this heavy. Um, the other thing it does tell you, explains, is when you put it together, because when you take it out of that package, it slides apart very easily. This is the top piece. There's a ridge here uh, as a handle to pull it out. Um, here's what the underside looks like. Here's the wheels. There's four wheels here on each corner. Everything, the wheels, the, the axle it's on, everything is made of plastic. So time will tell on the durability of this. So, But for $4... You know, it is what it is. 
Um, this is the under piece, and there's some rails here for the wheels, and then each corner here has a little stop. There's like a little notch there where the wheels will stop. Um, and the underside has six feet. I hope you can see that. I don't want to get too close. Six little rubber feet to protect your countertop, which is nice. So I'm going to place mine about two inches away from the wall because this does get very hot. I don't want, you know, something that's coming to a boil up against my wall, especially right underneath a... Um, a socket, an electrical socket. So then you just place it on top and the way you know you've got it together correctly, see there is some fiddling and you can't really see what's going on under there, um, is it will stop. If it keeps rolling and comes right off, then you know you don't have it uh, lined up correctly. So when you do this and it stops, you know you've got it together uh, the way it should go. So um, let's get this get my machine on the pad here and this thing is heavy I even waited for the water level to be to be uh, relatively low so it's not quite so heavy and cumbersome to move so and my appliance actually covers this entire surface so and we're just gonna push it back and we're good to go so I got to use it for the first time this morning it was great I was able to pull this all the way out and I could lean over to see what I was doing, uh, frothing the milk for my coffee beverage this morning, which is great. I'm so tired of reaching, or I'd pull it, you know, a little further out, but I was still leaning way in to see what I was doing, and you're not holding the cup in the right position. And anybody that makes um, cappuccinos or lattes um, that doesn't have a Panarello wand that does it for you, uh, knows um, the technique is everything and the position of the cup and all that. So now that I'm able to actually pull it out and see what I'm doing um, is um, is a wonderful thing <laughs> and a relief that I can finally, finally um, do that more comfortably. But um, like I said, time will tell on the durability of this device. I will definitely give an update, good or bad, as to, as to how it's going. Um, I'll probably maybe maybe I'll mention it uh, about a month out and we'll see how it's going um, if it's sooner that is will probably be an indication that it, it did not go well so we'll see how it goes with those little plastic wheels and axles and stuff it'll be interesting to see because this is really the only appliance I'm going to use this for because it's such a beast it is so heavy um, my little Oster Pro blender is not that heavy uh, and I usually pull that out and put Put it on a different counter to use it in the morning anyway so it, this really wouldn't be you know um useful for that this is great for something that you really don't want to move around and you're just going to pull it straight out to use the appliance and then straight back when you're done with it or if you just need this in order to in order to uh, fill the tank let me move the camera up uh, my fill my uh, tank filler spot is on the top I can also take the tank out of the front, but if I just want to top off the water, I just pull it out, out from under the cupboards and open that up and then I can fill right there. And then when I'm done, push it back. So we'll see how this goes. For right now, I'm giving it a firm thumbs up. Um, if anything changes, I will let you know and, uh, and, and see. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to stay optimistic <laughs> because I really like this and I really, really needed one. So uh, again, thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and have a great day.